Florida, I was uh, in Tampa, but I moved around Florida everywhere. I had a parking company that got involved in uh, clubs in Lauderdale and Boca and uh, guy Steve Kaplan at old the Gold Club in uh, in uh, New York City years ago opened up a club also in Boca that I used to park for him too. So I was all over Florida and it was a, a prosecutor, McCormick, big baseball guy, I loved baseball and him and another prosecutor in Tampa put a sting operation together, obviously to try to hit me with a RICO case. And uh, my partner, Terry Scaglione, whose grandfather was a made guy also involved with the Traficani family, uh, Santos Traficani, and my partner, Marco, that owned the glass shops with me. And I'm always in Florida with him, even till today. I, I got some pictures, we'll put them up, of uh, Santos, the, the boss with uh, Marco and... Uh, Marco Zoni was, a, like I said, a very good friend of mine and a partner. So while well, I'm in Florida, there's a lot of pressure on me on a, a regular basis, a lot of surveillance because of the people I'm involved with in New York, which is Gotti and Fat Andy Ruggiano. And then on the Florida side, there was Tropicani that was uh, not involved with me personally, but my partners uh, are involved with the Tropicani family. And, and Terry Scaglione is one of my partners involved in the parking uh, valet company called A1A of Tampa and then A&S of Tampa and then later on it became Prestige Valet. So when I have the company, uh, I have lots all over in six, seven states, but Tampa is my home base. And I get a message from one of my valet kids and he says, uh, there's another company coming around and they're handing out business cards saying, leave my company and come work for us and you'll make more money. So that starts it, and my partner goes crazy. He calls me up, Terry, and he says, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to infiltrate into our parking company. And at the time, we had some huge accounts at the Dollhouse, and we had uh, Bayshore Drive, and we had uh, uh, down the, the Civic Center. We had a lot of that. I mean, we were all over. And um, uh, Channel Side Drive, I'm trying to think some of the big accounts, the malls. And they're going to every one of our accounts. So my employees are thinking, all right, maybe we should leave and we're going to make more money. But some of the kids obviously are loyal and they come in and they're telling me the story. And I said to Terry, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Let me, let me think about what they're doing. I says, do not call his number on here. I says, let me see if they're going to other companies besides ours. That was the first instinct I had. I says, and, you know, they brought me the cards and the cards were made very cheaply. So that was the first thing. So they weren't made very well. And then they're going to just our lots, I find out, you know, after a week or 10 days of investigating and seeing, and I'm calling some of the companies that I'm friendly with, I'm calling to see if they're going to their companies and they're not. They're only targeting our company. So that was kind of a telltale to me to say that I, I don't think it's a, a parking company. It may be agents. So I'm not sure yet. And the next thing I know is some of my valet guys they're going on a yacht on the weekends. So I says, where'd you guys go? What yacht? Because they're all telling me to you know, talk amongst all the kids. And there's probably, I don't know, I got 150 employees maybe, the young kids. And they says, oh, you can't believe the yacht we went on. So I said, what kind of yacht? And they says, no, it's <laughs> up and down. It had cooks on it and chefs. And this guy goes with his wife and... Uh, I says, who's the guy? He says, Gary something or other and his wife, uh, I think it was Wendy. I'm not sure. But Gary and Wendy say, say. and Gary and Wendy, we went on, this, you know, we went on their yacht. And it was incredible. It had to be a $10 million yacht and blah, blah, blah. And I go, really? And what did he tell you? Why does he, you know, why is he trying to get my valet company? Well, he really doesn't want the valet company. He said that he really wants to work with you, that he's from the Bahamas. He owns clubs in the Bahamas. And he mentions some street guy that supposedly knows me. And he wants to clean money through my parking company and, and his, his nightclubs in the Bahamas. Supposedly he owns three of them. So I'm saying, you start off trying to take my companies and steal my workers, but now you, you want to do business with me. So the valet kids, and the, he reaches out to this one guy, uh, Timmy. And Timmy sets up a meeting for me on the causeway. So the causeway in Tampa is on the way to Clearwater Beach with Tim. It's a nice area. I usually stay on the causeway and it's right on the water. So there's a restaurant there and we set it up at the restaurant and he meets me one o'clock in the afternoon. So I tell my partner, let's go there around 12 o'clock. Let's see if this is a setup. 
So we go there and we're sitting in the car and it's like a custom uh, van. And we're watching as he pulls up and he pulls up either, it was either one or the other. It was a black Lincoln or a black caddy. I don't remember. But the point is, say it was a black caddy. He pulls up with the woman. They go inside. We follow. We sit down. I have a couple of my valet kids introduce me. We're all at the table. Shake his hand. And I start ordering drinks for everybody. And the kids, I tell the kids, you know, you guys can leave. I said, thanks for introducing me. And, you know, they wanted to stay because they really liked the guy. You know, they're all impressed with him. And, you know, he's dressed like that Miami Vice look. And he's a big guy. He's a big brawly guy. He wasn't a little guy. And the wife was real friendly. And uh, he's like, I don't want to drink. I go, come on, you got to drink. You, you, you own nightclubs. How are you not going to drink? And I'm pushing the drinks. So my partner's looking at me funny. Like, I'm just like, why am I being so nice to this guy? And uh, I just keep giving him drinks. Finally, I accomplished. He's drinking them. Oh, he's drinking okay. them now. But I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I wanted them to go to the bathroom, one or the other, because I'm trying to separate them. So after a while, he finally gets up to go to the bathroom. And when he gets up to go to the bathroom, I say to her, Wendy, let me ask you a question. Uh, what kind of car do you drive? And say they came in a caddy. She said Lincoln. She said the opposite of the car they came. So that was the first question wrong. I said, okay. I said, I'm going to ask you five questions. I want answers to all five. I says, and when he gets up and he and when he comes back, I don't want you to talk to him. And she's like, what? She's like smiling. She thought I was joking. I go, no, I'm dead serious because I think you're a cop. But I says, I'm going to ask you straight out some questions. How long did you meet? How long ago did you meet? First question. Where did you meet? Second question. Do you have a dog? Third question. What color is the dog? Fourth question. And what kind of car? And now I tell my partner, get off the table. And he goes, I says, get off the table. So he leaves and he goes by the bar. Now the guy comes back. I says, sit down. He says, excuse me one second. Don't talk. And she's like looking at him. I go, you know what? Can you do me a favor? And she goes, yeah, can you excuse me? I want to talk to your husband by himself. I said, go stay with my partner. So she looks at him and he goes, go ahead, go with him. He doesn't know what's going on. So I said, what kind of car did you come with? He said the opposite of her first. Do you have a dog? No, she lied. How long ago did you meet him? He said five years. She said seven or 10 years. Every question wrong. They didn't get one question right. So I said to him, I said, one second. I called him back over. I said, so now I know for sure you're an agent. And he's like, well, what are you talking about? And he starts to get like a little, like, you know, like he's getting testy. I said, unless you don't know where you met your wife, and maybe he's living in different houses, because she said you got a dog. You told me you don't have a dog. You're both driving different cars, but you came in the same car. And he goes, wait, wait, And I go, come on, listen, I'm not an idiot. I already knew something was wrong. I says, but I know you're an agent. It ain't going to work. And then finally he says to me, listen, you know, I could be a friend. I don't have to be. I go, I got enough friends. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, yeah, but, you know, maybe you can help me with, you know, what goes on between the Gambino family and, you know, whatever goes on here with the Traficanis and, you know, this and really the Traficanis at this time are kind of inactive. But he asked, you know, there's still a couple people around, but not like it used to be. So I said, no, I'm not interested. And he goes, you know, I know you're making a lot of money and that doesn't have to stop if you help me. And he's pushing the agenda. And I says, I can't even believe. Now I start, I says, I can't even believe you just didn't get one question together right. Like, how do you not get one, like, arranged and have it prearranged? You know, so now we'll fast forward and I shake his hand. I said, see you later. I don't want to be bothered. I says, but it was a good try. And he starts walking out and he says to me, can I ask you how you knew? I says, yeah, I, I tell you one of the easiest ways. You're driving, a, you're coming here with a yacht. You're meeting all my valet guys and you got a card that is like garbage you, they're not even professionally done so if you want to look like a big shot you should have made your cards look like a big shot and second you should have started going to other valet companies besides mine there's your two mistakes i says because i went to the other valet companies to see if that you were just doing this to my accounts or to everybody's accounts so that told me what you were trying to do and he goes yeah i didn't think about it <laughs> <laughs>